So today we are gonna learn about a new topic. What do you think this is? What does it look like? Map. Good job. This is a map. So what is a map? Who can tell me what a map is? Who can tell me what a map is? What is it showing? What do you see here? What do you see? What is that, Avery? Uh huh. Okay, what do you see? What is all this? Trees. And what is this? House. Good job. And what is this? Where? A park. Good job. And what is this? Where, where does the fire truck stay? Does it stay on the road? No. House? No. Fire station. Fire station. Good job. And what is this? This is police. police. So this is going to be a police station. Yes. And the map is a place where it shows what is there, right? Like what uh, what what is there in our neighborhood, see? Like we have stores. We have hospital, we have shops here, we have trees, we have houses. So it shows you what is there in a place. So let's talk more about it. See, like Miss K said, a map is a simple picture or drawing which shows places of objects, right? Like and objects like houses, like we have trees here, or the classroom, right? Like now, when we want to go to cafeteria, how do you go? Yeah, you go that way, right? Like okay. And when you want to go to the playground, is it the same way that you go? No, the playground is right outside, right? So we have different directions to take for different places, right? So our map is going to show us how we are going to navigate or how we go to that place, okay? And what do you think you can find on the map? What do you see on this map? Who can tell me one thing that you see? Avery, can you tell me one thing that you see on the map? What do you see? You see a cop. So where will the cop stay? Where does he work? Yeah, in the police station. Isaac, what do you see? This one? Yeah. House? Yeah. Okay, say house. You see a house? Okay, what other things do you see? Then what does it look like? Okay. And what is that? This one, right? This is a... You have a school bus, so what could it be? Where do you find school bus? I'm going in a school. Yeah, Alina goes in a school bus. So what is this? Where does the where does the bus stop you? Where does the bus drop you? Does it drop you at this grocery store? At school. Good job, Alina. What else do you see on the map? Police car. Uh huh. Police car. Already, Avery told. What other things do you see on the map? Playground, good job, playground. And Amy, what do you see on the map? What do you see? Fire, fire truck. Fire truck, and what is this place called? Police. Fire, fire station. Fire station, good job. And Osman, what do you see in the map? I see the police. Oh, you see the police too, okay. And we have a lake, and what is this called? Does anybody know what this is called? Rick. Uh huh. That's a big rig, but like you know, why do we see them? What are they doing there? It's a construction site. And does anybody remember this place? You would have gone with your parents to this place. What is this called? Gas station. Gas station. Yes. So these are different places that we can find in our map. Okay, so Miss K is gonna show you 
aerial view. Does anybody know what aerial view means? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, Miss K can tell you. So, when you go to the sky, like, you know, in an airplane or in an helicopter, this is how it looks. Did you see? It looks so tiny, right? So, this is an aerial view of our school. Of our school, yes. Do you remember what place is this? Yeah, that is the music place. Yes, if you just go into the door, we have our music stage. So this is our stage. And what place is this? Black top. This is our black top. And we can find a little glimpse of what is this? That's a playground. Yeah, that's a tan board. You are right. And what are what is all this? And what is all this? People. Uh, that, those are people. And what is this? This is our classrooms. Right? Okay. So, this is an aerial view. And you want to see how our school actually looks? This is how our school map looks. Okay? So, it tells you what class we have. And like, you know, where we have our playground and where we have our STEM lab and where we go for lunch. Because if somebody comes and if they ask you, where is room three? What do you do? Then you look into the map and you find the number three. Okay, so on the map, where is number three on the map? You want to help me? Come on, find it. Show me. Yes. So you say, okay, this is where number three is. That is Miss Lisa's class. That is Miss Kefisi's class. Okay? So that is why maps are useful, right? So if you don't know any classroom or if you don't know any place, we can look into the map and we can find our way. Okay, who can tell me what this is? What is this? Who can tell me what this is? It says N E W N S. What does that mean? Listen. Listen? No. They are directions, okay? North, East, West, and South. So these are the four directions that we have, which helps us to find the directions to a place. Okay, so let's go. North, north everybody north, north and south, south is down. Okay, west, east. Okay, so we all know Miss Jasmine's class. Which direction is Miss Jasmine's class? N. What does N mean? North. Okay, so it's a north direction. Okay. So now, how do we go for lunch? Shh, husband. So, which direction do we walk for lunch? So we just go? This way. This way. So what is that way? Chicken. What is that way? Chicken. What is this? S. S says south. So when we go to the lunch, so our lunch room is to the south side. So when we are going to do activity like you know we are just going to find out more about this directions okay and this is called a compass rose can you all say compass rose yes so compass rose shows the directions north east west and south there is an easy way to remember do you remember news so when you remember news you can remember this easily. So north, east, south, and west. Or you can go north, east, west, and south. And this direction here is called because it is between north and east. You call it northeast. Now who can tell me? Now it's between east and south. So what is this direction called? Shh, look here. So now it's between south and east. So what is it called? Sign. 
No, south and what is this? <coughs> east. So we say south, east. Now this is between south and west. So what does it mean? So we have, what is this? South and what, what, okay, what letter is this? W. w. So we go southwest. Now it's between west and north. So Miss K is going to write? South. No, what is this? N. N, north. And what is this? W. W. So this is northwest direction. So when we are practicing more, we will learn more about this because it might be new for you guys. But as in when we practice, we will learn a lot about it. Okay? So now, this is a compass rose. So like Miss K said, compass rose is a symbol on the compass or map. And it tells us which direction we are in. Okay? So Miss K has a small quiz now. Okay. Okay. So how many directions do we have? Four. Four. Good job. What are they? You can just, do you remember the, at least the letter? Yeah, M. Uh-huh. E. T. Good job. S. S. W. W. Very, very good job, Avery. So north, yeah. east, west, and south. These are our directions. Our four main directions that we are going to work on. Okay? So like Miss K wrote, these are other directions because it's between south and east, we call it southeast. Between south and west, we call it southwest. Okay? So we have different types of map. Do you want to see what they are? Okay, what map is this? A treasure map. So when there's pirates, like, you know, this is how, or like, you know, if people wanted to look for treasure, this is a treasure map that people look into to find treasure. And what is this map? It is showing our homes, houses, park, and it is showing a shop, school, zoo, food, hotel, everything. So this is called a neighborhood map. Can you all say neighborhood map? Yeah, neighborhood map because neighborhoods are the places that are near our homes, right? The place because these are the places that is close to our home. So they are called neighborhood maps, and this is what we are going to focus on today. And what is this? This is a world map. So this is going to show us where in the world we are. Who knows where is America? Can somebody find where is America in this map? No, look here. This is the world map. Where do you think you can find America? No. Where? Come, find to it. No, that is Russia, Sully. Okay, Miss K is going to show you. It is somewhere close by here. No, Who can I'm tell me where is United States of America? Arjun. Arjun, no? Where is United States of America? Osman. Yeah, Osman can tell. Do you want to find? Show me where is United States of America? Uh, you, you were almost close. That is Canada. See here. Okay, yes. Okay, you can go sit down. See, this is where we are. Okay, this is a world map. And this is where we are. And this is how small we are when compared. See? It's a very big map, right? This is where we are. Okay? So, today we are going to talk more about the neighborhood map. Okay? So, this is a map key. So the map key, what is all this? Tree. Tree. What could this be? Asmin. Asmin, can we go and sit down? What could this be? G says gas station. And what does this fire mean? 
Where can you find fire? Camping. Camping. Good job. And this one is a railroad. There is a zigzag line. It represents railroad. And this is a road. So, map key is a key or it is a thing that can tell us what objects or what places you have nearby. Okay, Miss K is going to show you an example. See? Now, when you see this symbol, what does this mean? House. It is a house. Good job. And when you see this symbol, what does it mean? Tree. It is a tree. Good job. And when you see this symbol, what does this people. mean? Pop. There are people. Very good job. And when you see this symbol, what does it Dog. mean? Dog. Very nice. And when you see this symbol, what does this mean? Car. Good job. So, our uh, map key is a representation of what is around. So, if you see this picture, then you know it is a house. Because they cannot draw a big house like we have. Right? So, they're just going to have small pictures to show the representation of places. And that is called a map key. And map key, with the map key, we are going to help our map key is going to help us find the direction, okay? That is what we are going to see next. Okay? See. Okay. Now, forest is so huge. Can you keep drawing forest? Not that. Yeah. Okay, good job using your words, Isaac. So, forest is a big thing. Can you draw forest? No, it becomes so hard for us, right? So, what did they do? So if you see the symbol, then it means it is a forest. Because you don't have to write a big forest. If you write a small tree yeah. together, that means it is a forest. And what does this blue represent? Who can tell? Water. Yeah, water. Good job. So it is a ocean. And if you see this dark blue, it means it is a lake. Yeah, good job. Lake or river. Smaller. And when this is light blue, it is going to be ocean. And when we see, okay, this could be mountain. Because we cannot write big mountains. So they are just writing a small triangle to say that it is a mountain. And when they say this, see, do you see a small line in between? That is a river. Okay, so this is how you comprehend the math. Okay, now Miss K is going to call our friends randomly and you guys are going to show me. Okay. Um, okay, Avery, can you come and show me the forest? Good job. Go sit down. Okay, Alina, can you come and show me ocean? Come on, come point to the ocean. Which color is the ocean? Which color is the ocean? We were talking about it. Green. No. Look here. Look here. What color is the ocean? Blue. Blue. Where is the blue? Can you find the blue for me? Blue. Ah, see? This is a river. But ocean. This blue. Where can you find this blue? Okay. So this is the ocean. Good job. Go sit down. Okay. Asmin. Your turn. Can you find lake for me? Lake? Yeah. Where can you find lakes? See? This color is called lake. Lake. Where can you find lake? No. No. Look here. Where can you find lake? Where can you find this color? Here. Yellow? No. Lake. What color is this? Blue color. Blue. Where's the lake? Good job. Go sit down. Amy, your turn. Come on. Amy, can you find me the library? Library. Eat there. No, that's a bookstore, but there is some place called library. You want to check? Okay, good job. Thank you. So, this is how we use our map key to find places on our map. Okay, now it's going to be time for review.